Hello and welcome back to Rongmar. In today's geography lesson, we're looking at where in the world the rainforests can be found. Our waltz for today is to locate some of the rainforests in the world using maps. Let's talk about maps first before we go investigating anything. Maps are a useful tool to help us find things we are looking for. Perhaps you may have gotten lost before in town or maybe in a different country and you took out your phone and you typed into Google Maps to see where you were supposed to be going. What other kinds of maps can you think of? Either ones you've used before or ones that you've seen. Pause the video, write down a few different types of maps. Well, very often the first type of map we ever experience as young children are treasure maps used by pirates to uncover hidden treasures. Another kind of map that might be quite familiar to you is Google Maps, which people use every day to find directions to and from places. But there are lots and lots of other kinds of maps too, all with different purposes and different reasons why you would need to use them. There are physical geography maps, which show you where the land rises up into hills and mountains. It also shows you the names of rivers and lakes. Why would you need to use a physical geography map? Pause the video and write down an answer. Well, maybe you want to know some facts about the physical geography of a country. Or maybe you're planning a hike up the mountains and you want to see where the tallest ones in the country are. Another kind of map is a road map. These are maps that show you the roads that link one place to another. Why would you need to use a road map? Pause the video and write down a time you might need it. Well, of course, road maps are most useful when you're trying to travel from one place to another. Google Maps does the same job as a road map, but before Google Maps, you used to have a fold out paper version. Another kind of map that you might have seen before is a weather map. If you've ever watched the weather forecast, you'll have seen this type of map. It tells us the temperature, the wind direction, and the type of weather that different parts of the country will get. The last and probably most common map you would see is a political map. These maps are used to show us the different countries, cities, and in this case, counties of Ireland. Today, we're gonna to be using political maps of the world to discover where the rainforests are. What do you already know about rainforests? Do you know any facts? What makes a rainforest a rainforest? Pause the video and write down a few answers. Well, there's a clue in the name. Rainforests are called rainforests because they have really high levels of rainfall every year. They are also very warm and very, very dense with trees and bushes. This means that there is not a lot of wide open spaces like fields. Where in the world do you think the rainforests are? Have a look at this map of the world. Here is Ireland up here. Whereabouts do you think we would find rainforests? Pause the video and put your finger on the map where you think it might be. Well, luckily for us, rainforests are actually quite easy to pinpoint. We know that the Earth is kind of a wonky ball shape. Going around the middle of this wonky ball is an imaginary line called the equator splits the world into northern and southern hemispheres, exactly in half. Now just above the equator is another imaginary line. This is called the Tropic of Cancer. And below the equator, there is another imaginary line called the Tropic of Capricorn. 
nearly all of the world's rainforests are found between the two tropics. That's why they're called tropical rainforests. Take a look at this map. It shows you all the places you can find the tropical rainforests of the world. You probably noticed that they are between the two tropics. Our world is broken up into seven different continents. Can you name any of the continents? Pause the video and see how many of the seven you can name. Though our seven continents are North America, South America, Africa, Europe, Asia, Australia and Antarctica. Let's put our two maps beside each other and see if we can figure out where the rainforests mainly are. So up here we have our rainforest map and below we have our continents map. Look at both of them very carefully and see what continents are most of the rainforests found on. Pause the video and write down which three continents. Well, using the map, we can figure out that most of the rainforests are found in South America, Africa, and Asia. Where are the rainforests that the Mayans lived in? Where are those ruins that the Spanish conquistadors found? Take a look at this big global map again. Where in the world do you think the Mayans were from? Pause the video and put your finger as close as you can. Well, the Mayans lived in this part of the world here. This is part of the continent North America, and it's a special part of that continent called Central America. Let's zoom in a little bit closer and see what countries we would find around there. Of course, modern countries did not exist back in Mayan times. Instead, the Mayans lived over an area spread across these five Central American countries. These countries are covered in thick tropical rainforests. Now here's a real challenge for you, and I'll help you a little bit with it. Can you figure out from the clues on the screen what the name of these five Central American countries that the Mayans used to live in are. Pause the video and give it a try. Now that was hard. The five countries that the Mayans used to live in are Mexico, El Salvador, Guatemala, Belize, and Honduras. All of these countries are home to tropical rainforests as well. Okay, time to go off and discover some of the locations of the world's tropical rainforests. When you're ready, you can try the practice activities down below. Our walt for today was to locate some of the rainforests in the world using maps. That's all we have time for today. Until next time, take care.